We all know Naruto. It's massively popular and has been a gateway to anime and manga for a lot of us. So you would think that a veteran author could easily write another hit, right? Nope. This shit is so painfully mediocre that I want to shove my balls into a blender. And no, this isn't like a, a fetish thing, I, I swear. This manga is just disappointing. Like, there is just so much wasted potential. So let me start by explaining the plot. It's a basic shounen story. Hachimaru is a weak kid who wants to become a powerful samurai. In this world, samurai are cyborgs who can regrow limbs and do a bunch of wacky shit. And Hachimaru ends up becoming one. And he's on his journey to learn what a real samurai is. In order to become a strong samurai, he must master a bunch of shit. And it's kind of confusing to explain, so if you really want to know, then just read the manga. But to me it's very convoluted, for example how a samurai can turn their katanas into guns. This happens like twice and serves no use at all throughout the entire story. Like wh why include it? So it's have techniques that you can master but nothing I like was shown with the guns. So like what's the point of including the firearms at all? Like just stick to the swords. They're meant to be samurai, not American high schoolers. Confusing can also be said about the art, which is drawn by one of Kishimoto's old assistants. So his style very much resembles that of Kishimoto himself. But honestly it just feels like a cheap copy. Even the storyboards were done by Kishimoto and some of them generally have better art than the real thing. I don't think the artist was experienced enough to draw the manga himself. A lot of the double bitch spreads look very bad. Not due to the drawings being exactly bad, but it's because it's lacking a lot of things, such as line weight variation and screen tones. It, it's so hard to make out what is going on on this page. All the lines are the same thickness and there is zero contrast between the different elements. Like this does get a little bit better later on, but the art is just very bland. Almost as bland as the main character. He's just a weak main character overall. He's just too normal to me. At the start, he's a little insecure and behind is almost like a dickhead persona. He doesn't really have like an emotional character arc or anything. Like he does go through hardships, but they didn't hit me in the feels like they were trying to. I, I felt bad for him, but the way that the main character just basically shrugs it off and acts all cool and collected later on, it, it, it's just, it, I didn't like it. We don't really see how these moments affect his like psychological state. And not to say he doesn't have any cool moments, he does, but he's always the third best character on the page. One of his cool moments was a duel he had with this guy with amnesia. Yeah, the, the guy is forgetful. And this was about the only time that the power system was pushed to its limits. Since they can regenerate, then that means that they can easily lose limbs and just regrow them. And that's what makes this fight scene so good. I'm sure you've been seeing it on the screen as I'm saying this, but it really is kind of sick. It really sucks that this gets taken away later on, as there is a technique which prevents regeneration. It's just so strange. This manga sets out rules and then changes them later on. I'm like, just why? Whoa, whoa, where the fuck am I? <laughs> Yo! Bro, this guy playing Minecraft and shit? Alright, let's listen in. Yo, that looks like a lit stream. I would follow him if I was you. He happens to stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 7 pm to 9 pm BST time. Whew. And he does random streams too. Whew, whoa. Gotta follow. Also, subscribe to his YouTube. I also want to bring up the world building aspect in this manga. I really like some of the designs of the planets and the tech. It really reminds me of Urban Star Races, if anyone remembers that show from back in the day. The show had a, a, a kind of otherworldly feel to it, with organic looking futuristic technology and stuff. Like, it was very cool, and that's something this manga pulls off pretty well. Sometimes there is a bit too much organic stuff on the page and it becomes visually cluttered. Don't, don't get me wrong, I, I do enjoy myself some curves, but not too much. Like, your mum has the perfect amount of curvature. And the last thing I want to touch upon is my bottles at the ending, um, I meant the ending. It was obviously rushed due to the series being cancelled and them having to wrap stuff up quickly. So a lot of the story points were rushed, such as the romance between Hashimaru and Anne. Or like, there, there was a terrible, how the fuck do you pronounce this? The Deus Ex Machina juice. Bro, I don't know you, bro. You, you understand. So basically, that happened. Like, overall, the ending isn't terrible, but just a little bullshit. And then he tries to pull off this bittersweet tone, which I do like, but there was just something missing for me. Maybe you would enjoy manga more than me. 
who knows. Currently it's pretty cheap to buy since most places are trying to get rid of this stock. So maybe if you want to pick up a few volumes and have a completed series then you know go ahead. I read all of it physically and honestly I don't regret my purchase at all. As much as I shit on the manga, I did kinda enjoy my journey with it. It's not great and I would call it like a 6.5 at best, but it was fun. And I'm probably gonna end up rereading at some point since it's so short and sweet like my friend Hellmouth. Today's National Short Friend Appreciation Day, so make sure to go appreciate your short friend. In the meantime, watch back man, subscribe and peace.